Today we're going to look at how to use an area model to add fractions with different denominators. So what we're interested in doing is adding something like one-fourth plus, uh, let's go ahead and call it one-fifth. Now, usually we want to find a common denominator and there's a whole standard algorithm that we can do in order to get that answer. But what we want to do is using common core, how do we draw a picture that will show us how to add a fourth plus one fifth. All right, so the first thing is that you're gonna make two boxes, squares, rectangles, whatever you wanna call them, um, to represent each fraction. So um, here, you wanna make them a pretty good size. So there's the fraction which is going, or the box which is gonna represent one fourth in just a minute. And here is one fifth. All right, what you do is that this is one whole unit, but I only want to shade one fourth of it. So we're going to take this one and we're going to cut it into four skinny vertical strips. Four, because the denominator is four. And because it's one, we're going to shade one out of the four. So this is representing one fourth. Okay, now we want to add it to one fifth. Now, we're gonna cut this into five slices, but we're gonna do this one horizontally. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and I only wanna shade one. Now, I don't know why it is, but in the common core books, they shade from the bottom, so we're gonna do the same. If you wanna shade from the top, go ahead, but I'm just trying to be consistent. So this is one fifth. Okay, how are we gonna make these two match? Because I have different sized rectangles when I look at one fourth is a different size than one fifth. All right, so here's how it works. You take your pin and you are going to slice this one that was sliced with four vertical lines. You're going to slice it with five horizontal lines. So one, two, three, four, five. So what happens is that that one fourth is now the same thing as five shaded squares out of a total of 20. Pretty clever, right? All right, we're gonna do the same thing over here to make this match this, we're gonna put four vertical stripes. So one, two, three, and four. So this section of one fifth is the same thing as one, two, three, four squares out of 20. So when I look to see how many total shaded squares, the total shaded is five plus four or nine out of 20. Now that can be a little bit confusing because people say, well, Jen, isn't it nine out of 40? But what I'm saying is, is that we can now compare apples to apples. So I have five twentieths plus four twentieths and that's gonna be 9 twentieths. So if you could imagine, we could shade these four onto the same picture to represent the 9 twentieths. All right, there's our example.